is just about 614 on this Sunday morning now. Live look over southwest Houston. Some of you probably starting to feel that cool air moving in. You'll want to stay tuned because Mike is here this morning and he's going to tell us exactly how cool it will get a little bit later today. Time to round up one of the big stories of the week. And first up, we have Metro's Park and Ride. It's a popular commute option among Houstonians, especially for those of you who live in the suburbs. It's convenient, it's cheap. Folks park their cars for free there and then they pay the bus ticket to ride. But now officials are considering adding a parking fee. A Metro committee has asked the staff to report back in a couple of months with an analysis of the parking policies at Metro's 28 park and ride lots and whether charging for parking is warranted. Right now, only one lot, Fannin South, charges drivers $3 a day to park, but the fee is waived with a valid fare on a park and ride bus. So now folks are wondering if Metro does shift more costs to drivers, is this park and ride system still going to be worth it? Well, that's our topic this hour, and we want to hear from you. We'll be sharing your thoughts that you're leaving for us on our Fox 26 Facebook page. You can also send me a tweet at Sally Mac, Fox 26. Joining us uh, live in our newsroom right now, we have our legal analyst, Chris Tritico, Fox 26 news analyst, Mustafa Tamiz, and public policy analyst, Jackie Bally. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so this impacts a lot of people. I mean, you'll see any of those lots really packed you know why is Metro considering these changes well it just caught when I read this uh, at first and started doing the research on this it caused me to ask myself one question is Metro a public service entity uh, a government public service or is it a for-profit corporation and at some point you've got to decide what you're going to be in life and, and, and Metro seems to keep trying to find ways to raise cash when I thought that's why we gave them the tax that they that they get to levy on, on the sales tax they get to levy and to raise their own cash. And, and someday, Jackie Bally, somebody's gonna say, I'm not gonna pay $3 to park, $4 to park, $3.50 to get on the bus, I might as well drive my own car. Yeah, at one point you're gonna have to do economics in your own house and you're gonna say, look, this is counterproductive because <coughs> the whole point of having these parking lot uh, facilities is to make sure that you get the cars off the road to reduce congestion. But at one point, if you're going to push so many uh, dollars on the, the residents who are actually trying to use the service, and it's going to be more expensive in our house for us to actually pay to uh, put our car in this parking lot, we might as well have the flexibility of having our own vehicle and go in by ourselves. And that's not what they want to do. Well, and, and you know, it does cost a lot of money. Uh, the, the park and ride in Katy, they were going to move because it, there's too many cars in it, I, was, I found out. There's, the lot's not big enough. They're going to spend $400,000 a year, apparently, to lease parking spaces and then make that up on the, on the parking fees. But why would anybody do that? Well, it's easy to beat up on Metro. Metro has been always a, a fun political punching bag for people. But if you think about it, somebody has to pay for these things, right? Somebody has got to uh, clean that parking lot. Somebody's got to pave that parking lot. And, and at some point, that cost has to be moved on to the consumer. We do it in business all the time. Costs go up, and people say costs of doing business has gone up. But in Metro's costs gone up. Our population is increasing, and more usage of the parking park and ride system. It's been a successful system. And now we have to find a way to economically fund it. But if the idea <coughs> is to reduce traffic on the freeways, yes, why are you trying to build income out of that? And it's been successful because it's been free. Right. <laughs> well, but it, look, it, and, and I'm not saying that, that they should. I think the conversation is, is what's happening now, that we're putting it out in, in, in the public space that potentially we can begin to charge <coughs> a fee for this. But, the, but those parking lot weren't built for free. They're, they aren't maintained for free. So someone's going to have to pay for it, and if you're saying it should only come off of the existing tax dollars, and as we increase the number of people in there, should we just keep raising the cost of the people that ride the buses? That's not fair. All right, let's go to Sally. She's monitoring our social media accounts. Yeah, we asked our viewers this morning, would this discourage <coughs> you from using the park and ride? Lynn Marie says, yes, it would. What would be the purpose of saving and riding at that point? Greed will get you nowhere. And then Jeff says, I would no longer park and ride a fee for parking, and then the ride toll, no thanks. I'll just drive the whole way myself and forget about parking. Yeah. And that's the, the research I was doing. Yeah. That's what I've been seeing too is that 
when you add three, four, five dollars on parking on top of a three dollar and fifty cent bus ride, everyone's saying I might as well drive downtown. And he may have a point. I mean, there there may be a reason why they're throwing this out there so we can have actually the discussion. I think the political pushback is going to be enough for them to say, look, we better not uh, put a heavy fee if we're going to put a fee at all, because they have to remember the whole point of having this park and ride is to get the cars off of the freeway. And no one with any common sense is going to actually utilize these park and rides if it's going to be more expensive for them. You know, when they when they raise the fee to ride on the toll down down I-10, I said on the air, I'm not going to do this anymore. I do it every day. <laughs> $14 a day. I'm spending on this. And, right. and so maybe that's that they know that. But but at the end of the day, people will look back at the cost and it's still cheaper to to pay for the parking fee that they're, that they're <coughs> talking about and and get in, get into downtown and take a bus than it is to pay for the gasoline coming down and the toll. So in the end, you know, people will use what's economical for their family as well as what's effective for, you know, for the day. If it remains cheaper. I think if we, get, if we get to the point that they're giving us a fee that is going to cost more for the families, that's not going to happen anymore. Because you get downtown, you don't have your car. You're giving up something. You don't have exactly. your car. You're stuck with uh, And, and with you're not paying going. for parking downtown. Right. Well, I, I, the, some of the research I did, you know, some of the people are riding, their company pays for parking, but it's still easier for them to take the bus, ride downtown, not have to mess with it. But they're saying, you know, if I had to pay for this and it's cheaper to go ahead and go and go downtown, I'll just drive. I, 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 look, I don't disagree. I think that each, each person has to make their own decision, and I think Metro has to think through this. But the concept of asking people to pay something for a service that they're using for free for years, um, you know, we do it on toll roads, we do it on buses, why not on, on And it's, it's probably easier, we've got to go, but it's probably easier to do this than it would be to have a tax increase that everybody would oppose. Absolutely, or All increasing right. just the bus fares. We're going to leave it right there. We'll be back in a few minutes with another really good topic. All right, sounds good. Yeah, we'll know in a couple months because they're supposed to do this study, you know, to see whether this paid parking would be warranted. So, you know, it's probably an issue we'll definitely revisit. Right. All right, thanks, guys. Let's check in with Mike now to get a look at the forecast.